guys welcome back to my channel today this is going to be the look that i am doing for you guys it's black on the um, outer rims of my eyes with silvers in the middles and browns in the crease i like it because it kind of creates a dual chrome effect some and like some lightings it may look purple so i kind of like that um I tried my best to be as elaborate as I can in my videos for you beginners out there so that it is a lot more easier for you guys to create my looks and um, replicate them and kind of give your own flair in it as well. But yeah, so I wanted to go ahead and create this look. I think it matches my shirt pretty nicely. I don't know. What do you guys think? Uh, I like it. Um, I just wanted to also let you guys know that I did create a Twitter a little while ago, so if you guys are interested in contacting me or hashtagging me, go right ahead. If any of you guys want to go ahead and recreate my look, just put hashtag Crystal, um, Couture by Crystal, and I will be um, checking those out as well. I am mostly on Instagram and Twitter now since I have created it, and I am always on YouTube as well. So don't be afraid to comment, leave me any requests down below. I will be more than happy to get back at you guys. So anyways, without further ado, if you are interested on in how to get this look, then just keep on watching. I'm going to show you the palette that I'm using really quick because I'm not going to be showing you the colors. It's just really hard to lift up, but this is the palette that I am using um, just so that you guys can get... <clears throat> sort of an idea but I will ex be explaining the colors to you as well so anyways I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the angled crease brush and I'm taking a warm shimmery brown color and I'm placing this on the crease and then I want to go ahead and blend it out pretty well so I'm going to go ahead and grab a fluffy blending brush and then just go ahead and start buffing out this color. We don't want it to be too pigmented, but we want to have it as a transition color. So I'm just really using windshield wiper motions and circular motions towards the outer part of my eye. Now going in with about, it's a frosty white color. I'm going to place this underneath my brow and then bring it down to help blend out this brown color and help it transition a lot better so I'm just gonna go back in with this angled crease brush with no more product on it just pat um, some color on it just because I felt like it washed out just a little bit too much and I'm just going in with my fingers to pat it in so now that that is done, I'm going to go ahead and take a small shader brush and I'm going to take a shimmery metallic black color. It's pretty light, so it's not too, too dramatic. It looks like if you were to mix a black and silver together, that's basically what it would create. And I'm just placing it on the outside of the eye and the inner part of my eye. So... I'm just patting it on just like that and then getting the tip of my eyeshadow brush and connecting them together on the crease just like that <coughs> excuse me then we're gonna go ahead and just buff away any harsh lines this isn't gonna be a cut crease look so we want the colors to blend nicely So after you get the black to blend into the crease color pretty nicely, we're going to go ahead and go in with a smaller shader brush and I'm going to pick up a medium toned silver and pack it on the center of my eye. Just like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and go in with a lighter silver and place it over. Just to create some dimension and have it actually really stand out so going back in with that black color that I had applied I'm just gonna retouch it up and pat it with my fingers to get rid of any harsh lines just like that 
Okay, now taking an angled brush that you would use for eyeliner or your eyebrows, I'm going to take that brown color, that warm tone brown color that we put in the crease, and I'm going to place this all along my lower lash line. Just like that. Then I'm going to go in with a darker reddish brown. I'll just go over that as well. Okay. So after that is done, I'm going to take a deeper black color. And we are going to place this on the outer part of the eye just to intensify it a bit more. And then I'm going to go ahead and line. My lower waterline and my upper waterline. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and smudge that out with that same black eyeshadow that we put to deepen up the look and I am gonna smudge it underneath my lash line just like that and then blend all those colors together just like that I just want to go ahead and intensify the black just a bit more and I'm bringing it in to about right there and then just pat it with my fluffy brush to blend out those colors. Now I'm going to go ahead and line up my upper lash line and apply some lashes and I'll be right back. Okay so I went ahead and I applied my eyeliner and my lashes. I'm going to go ahead and just wipe away <coughs> any fallout. I don't know what's wrong with my voice. It's just grin. <clears throat> I'm going to apply a highlight to my inner corners. And I'm just going to use like this very skinny eyeliner brush. Place it like that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just clean up underneath my eyes and I'm just going to apply any concealer. Doesn't need to be anything specific. I'm really not that big of a fan of this concealer either. I'll just use my fingers. And I'm also like bringing it down to conceal any redness that I have on my nose and my cheeks. Okay. Now to set. You see like the mess that I create? It's like never ending. Never. I'm gonna use my Palladio rice powder and translucent. Tap away any excess and then just set underneath my eyes and anywhere else I may get shiny throughout the day. For my lipstick, I'm going to go ahead and apply, um, what is this?
this is soft nude from Revlon and then over that I'm gonna go over <clears throat> it with Tarte lip gloss oh lip surgeon or whatever and tipsy just to give it some shine and add a little bit of pink in there just noticed I'm not wearing any earrings but whatever so this is the finished look I hope you guys enjoyed it it's smoky it's always gonna be smoky but yeah this is the finished look it was very easy for me to create I hope the instructions were very easy for you guys to follow my hair feels very like scrunchy yeah so I like it I hope you guys like it there will be more pictures on my Instagram so I will link it down below for you guys so you can go ahead and see it also don't forget to follow me on Twitter I went ahead and I added that just so you guys can go ahead and contact me and ask me any kind of questions that you guys had in mind um yeah so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you I know I showed you the palette at the beginning of the tutorial but this is it right here I just want to show you the colors that I am using okay let's do that okay so this is the color that is in my crease and on my lower lash line this one is just on the lower lash line and then we have this color right here that I put on the inner and outer part of my eye this is the silver that's in the middle topped off with this one and this is the one that is used to define the outer corner I didn't want to be picking it up and showing you guys and everything like that, so, yeah. So, anyways, if you guys have any questions for me, just leave them down below. I'll be more than happy to go ahead and answer you guys back. Until then, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.